What's going on, everybody? Today on this show, I wanted to talk about, or I wanted to give you, I wanted to give you the guide to buying your home, your property, your next investment property. Uh, this one will be just on buying like your your next home, but the guide to buying during the coronavirus. This is for your single family home. This is not for, you know, like an investment property or anything like that. This is for you looking to, you know, either upsize, uh, move into a better neighborhood, um, you know, whatever your particular situation is. But this is for you. How do you go about the home purchase? Considering the fact that although there is, you know, a lot of, you know, things that are going on, uh, interest rates are still low. Um, and because of that, it still has a lot of buyers in the market. The real estate market has not uh, taken a step back. Uh, it's only slowed down transactionally, which we'll talk about simply because some things are just not open right now, but that's okay. So let's get into this. Uh, five things that we'll talk about as far as buying uh, your next home during this pandemic. Number one, check your finances. Like, no, seriously, check your finances. Because, you know, the thing that, and, you know, I get, seize the opportunity, <laughs> YOLO, whatever you wanna call it, but no, seriously, consider your finances. Consider your job, your method of employment, your business. These are things that are going to have to get taken into account simply because uh, when it comes down to your lender, uh, those things are going to impact you and your ability and your credit score. You know, the reality is a lot of liquidity and a lot of money is being sucked out of the market. So the mortgage companies can't be as lenient, which is why. They raise the FHA score from 580, a minimum credit score of 580 up to 660. So monitor your finances. Only purchase is if, if you are in a stable, protected financial position, meaning you have money coming in, you have reserves to the side. I don't recommend this, but if you have access to credit lines, Emergency, you know, like I said, emergency set aside, um, assets, equity, different sources of income. Uh, do I recommend that you actually look out into, you know, go out with a purchase? And when doing so, also in this particular case, and I tell this anytime, no matter if this is during the pandemic or not during the pandemic. Always consider the monthly mortgage payment. The monthly mortgage payment. Don't go off of what you were pre-approved for. Don't go off of the maximum amount that you can get from the bank. Go off of what the end balance will be. What will be my monthly mortgage as an expense going out on a monthly basis? Does that fit in line to or fit in line with I envision my life like or where I want to be financially. If all those things check out, cool. Number one, checked off. Review your finances. Number two, your lender is going, especially lending now is more important than ever. You picking the right mortgage company is probably the most important decision you will make. And the reason why, and I'm going through it with uh, a transaction where I'm representing the seller and the buyer, it's been a couple of weeks already. And now all of a sudden, the buyer has to change mortgage companies. Why? Because the mortgage lender had to change their requirements. Now, again, I'm not gonna say that it's all the mortgage company's fault, but at the same time, the more reputable companies 
are a lot more consistent with their lending. And even though there have been changes, they still get the transaction done for you. So make sure that your lender is on top of every single change that goes on. Make sure they have uh, their hands and their pulse on all their investors. Because the reality is once you're purchasing a home, they're taking that mortgage, they're giving you the mortgage, right? But at the same time, they're selling that mortgage off to an investor. And it's the investors that at this point have become spooked, rightfully so. So now that forces the banks to have stricter lending terms. So if that is the case, then you have to keep in mind that investors are constantly changing their decisions, changing their, you know, they're fueled with emotion, you know, just like me and you are. So at any time things can change and we want to know ahead of time and we want to know, you know, the opportunity to get locked in so that way you don't have those issues if those issues do arise. I know mortgage companies, I'm in transactions now where changes did occur. However, the mortgage company, along with their relationship with their investors, were able to keep things uh, the same for that individual buyer. Um, so keep that in mind. That is, you know, the second thing and probably the most important thing during this pandemic is picking the right lender. Can't stress that enough. All right. Um, number three, after you, you know, have gotten pre-approved, everything's all well. It's time for you to now start shopping. You'll connect with your real estate agent. You'll be able to start seeing homes. And I mean that two ways. You can see that virtually or you can actually physically go out, at least when the home is vacant. Now, I recommend that you obviously, listen, this is, it's a very touchy time. I understand that. Some people don't mind going out with gloves and a mask and viewing vacant properties. That's more understandable than viewing properties that um, are inhabited or tenant occupied. So I get that. And then worst comes to worst, uh, what I'm seeing people do as well as myself is we're doing uh, virtual tours and the agents are going out for their clients and previewing and touring the home for you and then if it's something that seems like it's extremely interesting then you'll set up a showing on the side maybe the sellers if their people are there they'll leave out for you know a little bit maybe go get some fresh air or go for a run or something like that and then you'll be able to check out the property uh by yourself but again take health precautions you know these are uh, things that should not be taken for granted. But at the same time, I understand that there is still activity and people are still ready to buy homes and sellers are still ready to sell their home. And that's just where we're at. Um, outside of that, the fourth thing, so that was the third thing uh, when it comes down to just viewing properties. And then the fourth thing um, is, you know, transaction management wise, just make sure that your agent is doing everything that they can to keep you two steps ahead, considering the fact that you're dealing with the seller's agent, the buyer's agent, you, the other party, the attorney, the mortgage officer, the title company, the city, the appraiser, the surveyor, the title, like there's so many moving parts so making sure that your agent stays on top of that so that way you can stay ahead as much as possible so that way there isn't too many delays the reality is there's going to be a lot of delays and that's the fourth thing and then the fifth thing is when it comes down to closing on your new property uh when you move in wipe that whole thing down that's it wipe the whole thing down Kleenex, all that, quarantine, all of it, all of it. 
because Lord knows. <laughs> so um, those are the five things just uh, for the individuals that are looking to still potentially take advantage of the swing market. And another thing is just the fact that, uh, which is something that I'm looking for, is that two things. One, I don't think we're at the point where people are unloading their homes and there's a surplus of inventory and, you know, homes are selling for 70 cents on the dollar and they're, you know, that we're not at that point yet. Real estate is still pretty strong. However, uh, point number two is that there might not be nowhere near as much competition because people are staying indoors. So you might have an opportunity to take advantage of a market that's hot, but now we kind of have a vibe of the holiday season where there's not been that much, you know, not as much activity. But at the same time, I would even say it's worse because nobody's moving. Like, it, nobody's moving. So look to take advantage of that opportunity, uh, if possible. And, you know, that's something I'm telling my clients as we, you know, safely uh, continue to execute, continue to, to find homes, to find, you know, that buyers can uh, can call home and, and turn in a negative into a positive, you know, Prayers go out to everyone that's been affected uh, by this. And then, um, you know, prayers to everyone that are also looking to turn in, uh, a negative into an awesome positive. So that is the guide for buying during this pandemic of Corona. Um, yeah. Be sure to, you know, just follow those steps and you'll be all right. Austin Smith with Austin Smith Real Estate, signing off.